welcome to another video welcome back to some more of the medium if you guys are enjoying like follow share subscribe you already know the vibes hit that bell to get notified anytime anything epic happens i'm epic and let's get back into it Alrighty, so when we left off we just got the bolt cutters we need to get back to the day room so uh i don't know if we gotta take mirrors i don't know if we gotta just kind of take this route as it is i feel like this monster is gonna pop back out behind me uh Goosebumps. Oh, I can get through here now. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, this is satisfying. Okay. Mm. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Awesome. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the length of these videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series in general. I'm having a lot of fun actually playing this. It's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. I hear something. I hear something. Is that her? Marianne. Marianne, chill, okay? We don't need with all the damn crunching of your damn feet, okay? We don't need it. Too much crunching. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Cutters. Bolt cutters. So Or a movie star, like in a movie you okay. don't use your real name for. Yeah. It's by name it is. So this is gonna get all these doors open. I kept tearing my achievements ding. Does this bring me back to the day room? Does it? Okay, Mary. Let's see what sadness wanted me to see. I don't I recognize where right. I am. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Bet. I remember now. All right. So yeah, we can definitely go into the day room now. Let's go. All right. Here we go. go let's see what we got oh cutscene oh. <laughs> Marianne? there you are thank god you're right I was so worried <laughs> oh yeah that thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. Hey. Oh, look at the ball. Here. Okay. Hey. Why don't you tell me something about this place? Oh. It, it's the day room. To play here. <laughs> That's so creepy. With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became. Hollow, like a puppet. He. Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What? What do you remember? No, don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. 
But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! The sadness! No, never again! Why did you bring me here? Bruh. Bruh, 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 it was then bruh, bruh, bruh. I realized there was something she wanted me to see mm. with my own eyes. Oh, now we get back to a damn split. Hm. All right. Cut. Down we go. Cutting it up. Forced to go. Alrighty. What's in here? Richard? Oh, I see bugs in the Are spirit you there? world. Assume I'm going this way towards the buggies. Oh, there's a uh, thing here. Find the point of recollection. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. That's that nurse that we uh, heard of last episode in the Echo that murdered that damn patient. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. A music sheet, huh? Oh, this place is packed with memories. Bad Weird, loss. man. Guilt. Humiliation. You, you can't do anything until it like gets Rage. done telling you what the current is telling you. Came and touched us. Oh, read. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. I get it. I definitely get it. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. There's something. There's something I need to get. Complete the globe, I suppose. What could it be? Can we go out here? We don't have a charge to get through them bugs. And uh, is this door open? Door does not open, so let's go over here. Something else. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination, memorized by the surreal dreamscapes in his mind his mind would weave the way he described them with every minute detail, minute detail. It was as if he'd actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to feel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. Huh. 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 Music sheet? Can I combine them? I need one more piece. Uno mas. This is the way out. I don't want to go out. 
Uh, in sight. Oh, there it is. Freaking flash banging me though. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I. I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends, huh? Huh. Um. If you guys want to take a second to pause this to read it, I will read it in my uh, editing. Last piece. No. I remember the first time I met him working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man, wide eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in Warsaw, uprising of what he'd gone through in the years that followed. He did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Where's this other music sheet at? I don't know what it wants me to use here. Ooh. Is this a piece? The equator? It's a piece to the globe thing. Oh, there's something in here I can collect, recollect. Okay. Back to the body. Let's go back to the globe. I think we can put this piece. Get it. out the door now. Let's go. Uh, so we're going to need the music sheet. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. The good parts of it. But the bad parts. They're always there. Aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Ooh, is that also the guy that in the beginning of the series uh, check on L? Is that what the, is that what it's referencing? Aha! Uh -huh. Key that we need. Okay. Bueno, muy bueno. The spark's too weak to absorb. Oh. It's like it's missing something. Gonna need the. Uh, 
Gonna need the last piece of the music sheet to actually get that spark. And then I feel like when we get that spark, we can use that to get to the bugs. So we're gonna go use this key, get the bring the music sheet from the teacher's room into here. Get the spark and go to the bugs. Where is that at? I forget where it was. Is it over here? It is over here. Alrighty. And then bada bam bada boom. Let me in the room. Okay. Music sheets. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Hmm. Glasses. Is that it? Is that so that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He uh Mr. Reckon? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Thomas kill Richard? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness, true love, strong and pure, well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I've ever had. Huh. Should be all the pieces of the score now. Okay. Everything I need. Back to the piano. I think it's in here, right? Oh. Can't get in there no more. Trippy that that piano's playing. Here we go. Let's start dipping. All right, we got through. The day room is crazy, bro. The day room is absolutely bonkers. Look at them. Look at them hands out there. something up here is a painting that we can reconstruct right there uncle richard my arms are getting tired you've been drawing me for hours almost done you know lily you remind me of someone a girl i knew when i was very young did you love her yes with a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. This damn creep. It's 
what he damn is. It's a damn creep is what he damn is. Is a doll here? I seen this when I walked in. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Yeah, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Oh. Uh. Lead me. It's over here. There's the ribbon. Right here. Alright. No! I didn't mean to. Oh, God! What have I done? It feels cold. What have you done? Are we about to learn that he killed Sadness? Or that he killed Lily? Um... Uh, are you getting in this? You better take a ride. I, I had never felt anything so... desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> well, hi. What the heck is going on here? What's Thomas? God fucking damn it! Thomas. So this is the guy that called. This is the guy that called us in the beginning. This is that mysterious caller guy. I thought I could protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. Is he a medium too? No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Fuck! Finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here. Somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, oh, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What?
What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't. Oh, Lee, they're that. up there stomping. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas. Oh. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found a sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. That's right. Oh, oh. Get his ass. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas... I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Try right, to kick his ass in the face. Knowing she was here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear. I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. What you? No, let me out! Let me out! Let me in! Thomas is the maw? A little bit longer of an episode here, but this is crazy.
Thomas. This cancer has spread far enough. Time to cut it out. All right. Well, shoot. What a damn place to end it. If you guys did enjoy, like, follow, share, subscribe. You already know the vibes. Hit that bell to get notified anytime anything epic happens. I'm epic. Check out one of these other videos. And I'll catch you in my next whatever I make, whenever I make it. See you then.